so Evo. Yeah, welcome to Just Your Average Whatever. We're cult cult culture. Cult culture, I guess. Fighting games are a cult. I'll 100% agree to that. Yeah. The FGC is a fucking cult. I fucking love it. It's so much fun. Do you ever sign up for the FGC website? No. You sign up, you put your main game, your main characters, and your region, and it will like send you information on tournaments. And let's say like... I'm down the street from you, and I'm like, yo, you want to play a local game? It'll, like, send you a message and be like, yo, come down to my house. Fucking try your Zangief versus my Ryu. That's cool. Sketchy. Never want to do it. Scared out of my mind. I'm not going to some stranger's house to play fighting games. I say you get raped. Oh, there. it's not online? Well, no, you do a local match. Oh, all right. <laughs> so you have the better internet connection. Because <laughs> it's like, you're already down the street, you know? Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> no, it's cool. I mean, I guess it works in places like New York and stuff like that. Yeah. Where it's like we're in the same apartment building. Like, yeah. yeah, I'll hang out. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Evo's coming soon. And Evo 2020 has me super fucking hyped for one very, very, very big reason. What's that? Uh, we'll get into it. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, Evo in general. What Evo is, because Chad has no idea. Chad has never watched an Evo. I didn't start getting into Evo until 2008, so I'll admit that I'm not uh, an OG back when it was like... This... So like 12 years ago, though. Yeah. Back then, like, dude, it used to be, like, when it was the days when it was just a CRT yeah. and shit like that. That was, uh, that was pretty crazy. And, uh, I never really got to, when I got in, it's when Diago, and, you have no idea, when Diago <laughs> and, like, uh, Jay Wong were kind of on their way out. Not necessarily, because Daigo can still compete, but, uh, it was when it was Street Fighter Four was replacing Third Strike as the main Evo game. Um, but yeah, it's not you know, all the young people come and just whoop all the old people's ass. Not really, because there's guys that are like in their fifties that have been playing since the first Street Fighter that'll just show up and be like, "What's up?" and just like <laughs> get to top eight, and you're like, "Oh, that's right." You're yeah. Do you win money? You win a lot of money. Say you finish like eighth. You, you win. win you win money. Probably like. 30, 40 grand. So we just need to train, not to be the best. Just to get into the top, top 10. Dude, top 32 and you can talk shit. If you get into the top 32 of Evo and really? people are like, who'd you lose to? And you're like, fucking Gamer B. They're like, of course he lost to Gamer B. <laughs> but yo, you made it to top 32. We see the train. Now, we were pretty good at Mortal Kombat, so I got... What do you mean? I showed you Sonic Fox. Yeah. Remember Sonic Fox? That furry. Oh, we don't need to win. That fucking furry. <laughs> that gay, openly gay. No, it's he's openly gay and he's a furry. And it's like, like fighting games, the FGC has always been hyper-masculine. So me being like, like it is all inclusive. All races, all genders, all sexual yeah. orientation. It doesn't matter as long as you're good at the game. But it's weird to just be like, that gay furry is the best at Mortal Kombat. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just like, of all the people... The, the kid who walks in in his fursuit takes it off and then destroys you <laughs> if you don't get a fucking set. You can't even win a match. And then he puts it on and walks away. You're just like, ah! You know? Now, why is it Mortal Kombat and Evo? Uh, I think because they want to do their own thing. And I'm not the first person to come up with this idea. Everyone's saying the same thing, so it's probably that. Last year, they did their own Mortal Kombat tournament, and it got a lot of viewers. I watched it. It was a great fucking tournament. Top 4 was awesome. But... Again, you know, you just watch. It's like Sonic Fox is making it to the, you know, it's going to be someone versus Sonic Fox. Even if he loses in top eight, then he'll switch to, like, fucking, what's his name? Rifle? Aaron Black. He'll switch to Aaron Black. Or his, <laughs> Rifle, that's what I call him, you know? Uh, or he'll switch to Cassie or someone and just fucking mop the floor. Yeah. And it's, it's fine. He's the best. It's back in the day with Street Fighter 2, uh, Turbo and all that stuff. The reason Daigo has his own manga is because, yeah, he was he would just win every fucking tournament with Ryu. <laughs> and it was like, you're playing the Ryu. You know, people are like, oh, that's the Ryu of this game. He was playing the Ryu of Street Fighter <laughs> and just winning nonstop. No one could stop him for the, until, like, Jay Wong and them showed up. Until, like, the SoCal boys were like, what's up, Japan? <laughs> but then again, East Coast is Beast Coast. Unfortunately, our reps are from, like, New York and Canada. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where our powerhouse is. And then you get the fucking rumble in the South. 
they, their <laughs> fighting game or whatever it's called. I think it's called um, CGS. They fight in a boxing ring. They have the guys sit in chairs in a boxing ring and have it play over like the dome. It's so it's so stupid, but it's awesome at the same time. I like it more than like League of Legends tournaments because at least yeah. I can follow what the fuck's going on in a fighting game. But yeah, so what? All right, so Mortal Kombat's out, but what's in? We have Street Fighter Five, Tekken obviously, Seven, obviously, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Smash we'll get is, back to that. Smash is not a fighting game. Uh, Grand Blue Fantasy versus. And I mean, obligatory anime game. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is back. 20 years, baby. Under Night in Birth. I don't know. I, anime game, sorry. Yeah. Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, yeah, we played that a bit. Soul Cal. Used to play that a lot. Yeah. And Samurai Showdown. That game I forgot. I wanted to get it at release, and I, but I wanted to wait. Is it on PlayStation now? Yeah. No, it's I gotta buy it. Uh, I'll buy it, don't worry. Like I said, I wanted to um, wait for the day one patch. Because I was like, I don't know this game well enough, and if I jump in and I get good with the character that's going to get patched, I'll just get blown the fuck out because I don't know the fundamentals. So I was like, I'll wait for day one, wait to see what everyone's doing, figure out what's going on. Then... What was that weird game we were playing? Last Blade. <laughs> Imagine that was a... <laughs> Dude, Last Blade? One game is two. nuts. <laughs> it's nuts, and it's broken, but it's broken in the best way that it's, like, super fun. That flaming house stage is so <laughs> cool. So, you know, like Super Smash Brothers? Uh, I like Super Smash Brothers. I just don't think it's a fighting game. I mean, I'm not saying it's not competitive. I just don't think it belongs at Evo. Because yeah. if so, then Power Stone should be at Evo. PlayStation All-Star should be at Evo. Gang Beast should be at Evo. Yeah. You know? But Smash Bros. is, like, the best. It is. And that's what, it's the best of what it is, but it ain't a fucking 2D fighting game. And I know Tekken's on there, and Tekken is a 3D fighting game. I understand. And so is Soul Calibur, but they're not. You're not. You're not platforming while yeah. you're fight. You know, flat, and then it's just about who can match the right combo, and not do that. You know. I'm so bad at Smash Bros. I'm. I used to be good. I got really good at melee, and that was it. What's the thing where you dash in melee? What's it called? Wave dashing. I was okay at wave dashing. <laughs> yeah, I could never get good at it. So what game are you most excited for to watch? Besides Marvel vs. Capcom, because I think anyone who's a fan of Evo is so fucking hyped for Marvel vs. Capcom, I would say DBZ. Yeah. Just because I know it's, like, gonna be... DBZ or... <sighs> I don't know, Tekken's hype as fuck, too. Tekken's fun to watch. Tekken is great to watch. Yeah. So is fucking Street Fighter. I don't know, watching Dragon Ball Fighters is just ridiculous. Dragon... Yeah. I... Yeah, Dragon Ball Fighters, especially since we're like mediocre and we do like the basic combos, <laughs> it would be sick to watch someone like three wipe someone with like the. No, when is Evo? Uh, soonish. I think it's in the summer. I'm probably wrong though. Uh, July thirty first yeah. to August second. Yeah, it's in the summer. So it's a ways away. So pools are open, I think. Online pools, at least. Evo's awesome. The idea is, like, it's not like a baseball team where, like, like, oh, man, if I, I'm a, such an amazing pitcher, but I go to a fucking bullshit school in Montana mm -hmm. and scouts never come here and, like, oh, I'll play on, like, a traveling AAA team and never get noticed because, I don't know, I had a couple bad games. Evo is, like, if you're good, you'll prove it. It's a fighting game, you yeah. know? It's straight up fucking... And there's no nepotism except for the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 tournament. But that's okay because it's their 20th anniversary. <laughs> but it's a, it's a meritocracy. Fighting games are a meritocracy. You have to be good. Yeah. Because if you make it to top 8 based off, like, circumstance, not skill, your balls will be exposed on stage. You'll get double perfect fucking <laughs> three times in a row and you'll just be like, man. <laughs> Then you get money. <laughs> Maybe. But then, you know what's the best part? You get that money, people will boo you for the rest of your life. Because they'll be like, you're a fraud! You're a piece of shit! Oh, is that just people spamming specials the whole time? It's just the person who obviously didn't deserve to be in top eight and got lucky. Fraud alert! Fraud alert! Fraud alert! And the crowd will start chanting that. People get so petty. I love fighting games because it's, it's the only <laughs> crowd... Where, like, you're allowed to be like, 
hey! And then the guy's like, what? And you're like, you suck! And it's like, it's encouraged. They want you to hurt. Why do you think they wear headphones when they play the games? Because the crowd is just <laughs> screaming insult. But the best part is, if you start doing good, the crowd get, like, even if they're screaming at you the entire last match, if you turn it on, they're 100% on your side. Then they're like, what that fucking loser? Look at that fucking kid. I can't believe we were cheering for him. What a piece of shit. It's the best. I love fighting games. Oh, and it's... Definitely the best games to watch. It's the best games to watch. It's the best community. Because <coughs> it's like... Like, Call of Duty dude bros, that's a negative stereotype. Yeah. You get RPG weebs, that's a negative stereotype. The fighting game community doesn't have a negative stereotype other than, like, they kind of push you away, but it's just, it's perceived. It's like if you never had an older brother, you yeah. wouldn't get the fighting game community. <laughs> If you have an older brother, you get fighting games. It's like, I'm losing. Go away. Fuck off, dude. And he's like, just get better. Just get better. Just get better. And you're just not winning. My brother used to make me go high when he was doing bad at games. My older brother... Make your bad luck. Get the fuck out Dude, of my older brother never did bad at video games. It was so fucking annoying. Yeah. I would play fucking Marvel, uh, Mortal Kombat 2 all day, get really good, have a little game plan in my head, and be like, Andrew, let's play. And he would just be like, casually, just like, all right, whatever, pick up the controller, wipe the floor with me, and be like, all right, that was fun, and then go about his day. That's where we build our team we need, to be honest. He's our ringer. He's secretly really... Me and you will play a bit. All right, come on, Andrew. <laughs> He's secretly really good at video games. He used to be on a clan in Call of Duty. Really? Yeah, Call of Duty 2. He used to play in tournaments. He would stay up like 23 hours a day practicing Call of Duty too. Jeez. And you know what? I played Call of Duty the most recent with him, and he's like 10 years out of practice, and it's on a fucking controller. And he's still like top fragging like 34 and 2, and it's just like, you haven't played in 10 years. See, his brother's a perfect example of people being like, I need to grow up and not play video games. Get good. Make money. Yeah, <laughs> if Andrew had spent time getting good, he probably would be making a lot of money right now. But he wanted to grow up and not play video games. Yeah. Now I did the opposite. I could be president right now, <laughs> but I decided to play video games. Your brother just needs to be dumped. Yeah. Get depressed. Again, depressed. And then just play video games. Sad Andrew. And then me and you will just be like the little bug in his ear being like, compete in competition, Andrew. Fund our channel, Andrew. Fund our channel. <laughs> Take nothing with you. you. Take no weapons when you enter the tree and we just send him to Evo. He just wanders into pools for Street Fighter. Never played Street Fighter. They just throw it at him and he's like... <laughs> just... He was not bad at Tekken. Soul Calibur is pretty good at it. Yeah, but Tekken and Soul Calibur are kind of the same. Yeah. Not really, but it's that 3D fighting kind of flow. Yeah. Soul Calibur could be a lot cheaper at the... Soul Calibur is so gay if you want to be gay. Remember, I went, last time I went to this arcade in Rhode Island called Tilt before it closed down. Why did it close down? The flood. The floods. Yeah. And the guy couldn't afford to repair all the machines. How fucking tragic. It's no one's fault. but Because it, it was making good money. Yeah. It just fucking flooded. But I was playing this little kid. He was playing Kalik and he just kept going. And the dad laughed at me. And I'm like, I don't let him win. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hannibal Burris has a bit about that. It's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the last time I went to Tilt was, uh, playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2 with Josh Bannister. And we had been practicing hardcore, or not practicing, but just playing non-stop at Robot House, which was right across the street. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we were like, hey, let's just, let's pay to play this video game we play all the time. <laughs> so we drive over there, we fucking pop some shit in, and we're playing, and we're playing. And we realize, like... Like, you know how when you want to play next, you put your fucking quarter yeah. on the machine? There's like three quarters, and me and, me and Josh are like, yeah, well, we got a crowd going. Obviously, the kid who wanted to play and put his quarter on as soon as Josh beat me wiped the floor with Josh. And then it was just like, oh, so you're actually the big dick. <laughs> We're just the fucking... See, I used to love it. Like, I used to be really good at arcades, and I used to go to there and play Tekken 4. Are you sure it wasn't 3? Three? 3 was the super popular one. Maybe it was 3. Three is the one. There was a Tekken Three machine at Dave and Buster's up until recently. Now Dave and Buster's is only Fruit Ninja and Mario Kart. I know it's all. What a fucking letdown. Yeah, fuck Dave and Buster's. Fuck Dave and Buster's. Fake ass arcade. Straight up, dude, for normies. Yeah. Ew. Those win tickets. Uh. Even though I'm a fucking asshole, and I'm like addicted. Like that's why I can't go to casinos. 
I'm like, gambling, what tickets? I need them. Dude, I'm so... Uh, the one thing my fucking liberal commie teenage years instilled <laughs> in me was just the hatred of gambling. <laughs> I hate gambling. I hate the idea. Like, casinos are just churches for money. It's weird. <laughs> I don't like it. It's full of cigarette smoke. There's no windows or clocks, yeah. so you lose track of time. I went to fucking Foxwoods with my parents to see Jim Gaffigan. And we parked on the opposite end of that we were supposed to. So we got to, I got to walk through the entirety of a casino. Uh, and Foxwoods is a big casino. Yeah. It was fucking bizarre. We're way off topic. Actually, no, it's back on topic because Evo takes place at a casino in Vegas. Anyway, when I went to... T- I tried to bring it back. I used it. to be really good. I used, I used to be like, beat people with my eyes closed. Because I would just know like the things to push. And who did you just play? Start, Young Sung. Yeah. And that. And then uh, Tekken, I was Howarang. Tekken 4 had the best Howl Ring because you do the super kick in, then you do the ha, ha kick. Then you had other combos. I never got into Tekken, but I mean, everyone played King, so I had King. Obviously. King's so annoying to play when they're good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't know he was a grapple character. That's like how out of Tekken yeah. I was. Then I started playing Jack 5, and I was like, I was like, fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Fuck it. Dish, dish, dish. dish. Oh. He was fun. Soul Calibur, I was Sung Mina and uh, Cassandra. <laughs> or not, Sopatia, not Cassandra. Fuck Cassandra. They're like palette swap, they have slightly different moves. <coughs> I think Cassandra's a little quicker and has a little more pep in her moves, but Sopatia's are more like. Siegfried, if you got his combos, he was so smooth and like how he attacked and everything. Brad had a good Siegfried. You know who is the very best person I know on Soul Cal? Brad? LaValley. Really? Lavalley is. I've played him at Soul Calibur. I think I beat him like once in a while. This maybe maybe that was years ago. The last time I played Lavalley in Soul Cal, he fucking we did a three out of five, and he double perfect or triple perfect me every single time. And it was just like what? And he was like, yeah, you know. And he was playing Keelik, and I was like, you can't play Keelik anymore. <laughs> so we switched to Siegfried, and I was like, you can't play Siegfried anymore. <laughs> so we switched to um, Taki, and it was just like. Then I did Sangmina, Raphael, and uh, Sophitia. So he used to make me feel happy. I would play Street Fighter vs. X Tekken with him. That game sucked. I love that game. It's so bad. It's like Sacrifice game. health to add more time to the clock. Why? <laughs> it was a fun game. No. No, so mad Capcom didn't make their... A 2D Tekken game with Capcom fighting style would have been legit. Yeah. Well, Capcom had to go and be stupid. I don't blame him. Street Fighter Cross Tekken sucked. I liked it. Cross Tekken is like considered one of the worst fighting games. <laughs> like next to maybe like Rise of the Robots. <laughs> I I bought Rise of the Robots from Circuit City. And I took it home and I was like, robot fighting game? Fuck yeah. This was back when the, the cases were those big black like VHS cases. <laughs> he opened it up and had the little SNES thing in the booklet. And I pop it in and I play it with my brothers. And we're like, how do you do? This is so bad. <laughs> it's like the worst <laughs> fucking fighting game I ever played. Next to like Shaq Fu. But I played Shaq Fu on an emulator like years later. Shaq Fu was so fun. Okay. So yeah, we just... MVC 2 is going to be hype as fuck. Because for Legacy, like Jay Wong and... Yeah. You know, fucking Chris G, I hope, comes back. Stuff like that. That'll be sick. Um... Not really much else to talk about. Are you excited that Goku Ultra Instinct is coming to Fighters? We have Kakarot. <laughs> we have Super Saiyan Goku. We have Super Saiyan Blue. We have Gogeta. We have uh, Vegito. We have uh, Goku from when he's a kid. And we have Goku when he's... Uh, I, I, I read somewhere that... It, oh, Goku Black. Uh, that counts as a Goku. Um, <laughs> Bardock, because he plays like Goku. And then, um, I guess this new white Goku. So that's nine Gokus in this fighting game. Some fighting games only have nine characters. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, I mean, as much as, as much as I love Goku fight DBZ fighters... Um, well, they know people will be hyped for it. Oh, give, give us the weird ones! That's the best part about DBZ, is the weird-ass characters. Like, who would you want to be, like, one of the weird characters? Oob. 
Yeah, but I feel like they're waiting for Oob to be... Master and, Roshi. Master Roshi would be awesome. Master Roshi would be the shit. Especially after what they did with him in Super. His first... His level 1 special... Or no, his level 1 special can be the super beefy Kamehameha. And then his level 3 special can be the evil containment wave. That would be cool. He just wins. <laughs> <laughs> well, you use the... No, they can break out. It's like fucking, you know, like... Cells level three is the world ending Kamehameha. You know, like you can, you can fucking find your way around. Why Yajirobe? Yajirobe. If they make Yajirobe like OP, I want. What did I say? Python. Python would be cool. Python, the forgotten character. Yeah, his his moves are cool because I watched some stuff with him recently. His Kia blasts aren't like energy; it's like fire. He shoots like explode like red fiery explosions. So he's kind of like the Dalsim. That's cool. Yeah. I wouldn't mind, um, like, uh, like a super Namekian. Yeah. Just, like, make it, like, what if Nail killed Frieza, and he's, like, super tough, and he can, like, super Namekian out, and he changes gold or whatever. That'd be neat. What about Mr. Popo? No, if we're putting a joke, if we're putting a joke character in, put Mr. Satan in. Yeah. Straight up, better joke character. Mr. Propo stood up the Goten trunks. In a non-canon filler episode. It was canon. No, it wasn't. No, it was not canon filler. Trust me. It was... Watch Plague of Gripes' video on power levels. It's non-canon. It Have was... Have you ever watched Plague of Gripes? No, but it was he when they were going to train in the tower. Right, 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 and it shows him holding them? Yeah. That's non-canon filler. It's just like the fucking scene where uh, Goku is laying on the side of the shore and Krillin throws the rock and it hits him in the head and he goes, Ow! And he goes, What? I thought you were in Super Saiyan. And he goes, Yeah, but I didn't have my guard up. And it's like, Ooh, That's non-canon filler. I'm telling you, Toriyama doesn't recognize those episodes as real. Because <laughs> they never happen in the manga. What about original Cell? No, because I don't want... I want new. New. Uh, what about Android- Mercenary Tau? Yeah, that'd be fucking sick. Android. Ima- imagine seeing Mercenary Town just like his specials getting like that big. The pillars. The pillar thing. trees. Yeah. That's how he enters the match and that's how he leaves. <laughs> and he can do the Dodon Paw, but it's like super more powerful than TN's. It's a bad character, but it's awesome. I want. Who did I just say? Android 13. Spikes. So, right? Because you want Cell, and I guarantee your version 1 Cell has some sort of life draining t- attack, right? Give that to Android 13, because that's his whole deal, is he steals your energy. Yeah. So he'll be like a grappler that steals life from you. Like a vampire. What about... Jiro. Dr. Jiro. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't done anything with that. Grand Kai, <laughs> like the metal one. That'd be funny. The older one. Yeah. <laughs> Deborah. Oh, Deborah's so stupid. Bobbity. Bobbity and Deborah have the Mac as a tag team. Yeah. Deborah's the main fighter, and his he, he can do buttons... Like Ginyu, where Bobbity will come in and do projectiles. What about Garlic Jr.? I would love Garlic Jr. Nobody likes the Garlic Jr. style. I like it. I thought it was okay. It was Dragon Ball. It's fine. It was Dragon Ball. It was I mean, perfect. you have the movie and then you have the saga. It's pretty much the same Dude, thing. Dude, the movie was awesome. Yeah. The movie, the part where uh, Goku's like, I'm going to fight the strongest guy, Piccolo. You got the other two? And he's like, yeah, sure. And he's just firing special beams without charging them, and you're like, oh, that's how tough Piccolo's got? He doesn't have to charge special beam cannon anymore? They need to bring Piccolo up, and he is. They need to bring everyone up. They need to understand that they should, like, have the Saiyans peak for a little bit. To the point of where they're fighting enemies that are stronger than the Saiyans, and they're like, yo, okay, humans, Namekians, half-humans... You guys need to start training to get to our power level so we can fight this guy that's way stronger than us because we can't get stronger. We, yeah. to be, But then eventually they'll break their outer limit in like the fucking last episode and win. But it would be cool to have a whole thing where it's like Krillin and fucking Piccolo like really have to sit down and get like tough as shit. And he becomes superhuman and super Namekian. That'll never ah. happen. And then they fuse and we get this weird short ball. <laughs> no, it won't be short. It was like five foot six, I like guess. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pickle was like six something. Pickle was like six three. <laughs> I just um, want Gohan. Just Gohan in general. He be seen, good. He just needs to become strong again. Do you have any other characters you'd want? Uh, Are you European? Yeah. 
Bulma! Oh, what fighting games would we like to see created in the future? Yeah. I would want a Dragon Ball, since they made the Dragon Ball Fighters, Yeah. have a Marvel vs. Dragon Ball. Marvel vs. Dragon Ball would be the shit. Yeah, that would be nuts. That would be hype as fuck, dude. <laughs> Like Cap doing stars and stripe, and then Vegeta Gatling gun and like the shield, and they combine Shh, beam struggles. Fucking you to be in come in, you know, like that would be rad <coughs> shit, dude. You know yeah. what's sad? Nothing can ever like cross over Mortal Kombat. DC. Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't good. But now they know how to make good fighting games. Yeah, but no, like Street Fighter and everything won't be mature enough to be like fatalities and stuff. Yeah. Well, that's Japan. See, that's another argument, is Japan needs to get with the times. The Japanese way of doing things is great for the Japanese market, but it ain't cutting it in the European and the North American market, whereas nowadays, and this is a new thing, where a lot of American games are going to Japan and selling well. It's like the first time this has happened in them. Yeah. And, you know, like, StarCraft. It's an American game. It's fucking killing it in Asia. Whereas Asia's RTS. Even like the Naughty Dog games do yeah, pretty well done. Yeah, fucking right kill it over there. Xbox, though, they still hate Xbox. I don't blame them though. Microsoft is fucking dirty as shit. Garbage. Sony's basically an American company at this point. <laughs> pretty much. Sony of America is the only thing making Sony money. Yeah. It's not their TVs or their radios. PlayStation makes some pretty good money. Well, the system itself, yeah, but I'm saying the content. A lot of Sony games are American games. Yeah. And then they have like. The movies, I guess, make your money. Remember when the PlayStation 3 came out and the release title was Talladega Nights? So, like, Xbox was releasing with Halo. Uh, the Nintendo Wii was releasing with Mario. <laughs> and so it's like a picture of an Xbox with Master Chief, a picture of Nintendo with Mario, and a picture of PlayStation with Rick and Bobby! <laughs> really? Talladega Nights! That's awful. Yeah, that was back in the console wars when Sony was losing and it was hard to be Sony a Sony. Sony made a nice comeback. Dude, it was hard being a Sony apologist in yeah. 2006. Just be like, no, it's good, guys. I don't have to play to play online. <laughs> right. But what fighting games are you guys excited for? Are you a PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo guy? Let us know. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe. Sorry, I'm still losing my voice. Yeah, you're still losing his voice. How That's how you can this date been? this episode. That's how you know what time this episode came out. <laughs> it's been about four or five weeks now. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, just your average cult culture. Thanks for watching. Woohoo!